So this is how I'm going to start out this topic. So this company is another game developer company that was once upon a time known for being very, very edgy. Well, not very, very edgy. <laughs> Chiefs are not even talked about this. And if anything, uh, we'd see him as, uh, and people I even started saying this too, is soft edgy. At the best, they're known for, they're, they're probably close to being South Park levels of edge. But yeah, so I, I, I it's kind of going to be difficult for me for a moment here to grab tweets and everything with the shit show that got started because the very, you know, people that quote unquote want to push buttons and stuff like that, they blocked me already. And I haven't, I haven't tweeted directly at them or anything of the sort. Um, I may have liked tweets that were from some of the people that were involved with this, with this little shit show that's going on, but um, otherwise, I, I it, it gives me the thought that running with scissors here, or as I'm going to probably go to ca calling them cucks with scissors, uh, went ahead and blocked me. So this is going to be a very few little thing. Right. And, you know, for people that are, quote unquote, pushing the buttons of society and all that sort of stuff, seems a very kind of bitch made move <laughs> to block somebody that, you know, hasn't really been antagonistic towards them or trolled them or anything like that. I mean, I was certainly going to be doing this regardless. I was going to be talking about this because I was certainly wanting to because they've stepped in it. Um but I do believe, despite them blocking me, I did save some screenshots. I thought that too, uh, Timon. I thought blockchain as well. And I brought it up in... A, and this happened because, again, uh, the uh, Melee Games, James and Kay, they, they were the ones that happened to kind of just make some comments and started this little shitstorm. But it's really funny. Hang on, let me see if I've got the... Uh, yeah. So, it all kind of started with, with uh, Melee Games tweeting this out. Uh, it said, Today on the Melee, Melee Madness podcast, we discussed Sweet Baby Inc. going after a Steam curator... Steam again banning an adult game just before release. Uh, the absolute state of uh, running with scissors studios and more. And with their official account comes in and says your podcast sucks ass, which, you know, this could be lending to their edgy behavior and stuff like that. But I mean, they're still at the end of the day, this is their company account, right? It, 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 even a company has to do with a certain image, but could you, would you say maybe that this is acting within brand perhaps? Mm. If they're meant to be kind of pushing, like, like I say, developing games that are meant to be pushing the envelope, so to speak. Well, responding like that is within brand, but blocking people certainly isn't. No, it's that certainly is not. Um, it definitely Rustled some jimmies right there. <laughs> Static. I think they prefer gays with scissors. That would be probably accurate too, because um, it 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 just kind of developed into a furthering thing, because they even got the community, the basically the person in charge of the Twitter account, because they went on to uh, the main site. Like I say, this makes it so difficult that they blocked my ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Here's the other. Here's one of the... So this is what was leading up to it because he's the community and QA manager 2D and 2D artist at Running With Scissors. And on the same tweet... Oh, 
Okay. Um, good point, Static. So, to give a little... Let me even get their site really quick. And like I say, some of this just makes it... We're a monkey wrench in what I was wanting to do, damn it. Sorry about this. Um... So the running with scissors created a game called postal and the whole kind of point is yes, you go postal, you start kind of going, uh, going crazy. Go, I don't know if going crazy, but, uh, certainly going about shooting, shooting random. You can just basically go and killing sprees and stuff like that. And like I say, they have very, uh, content in the game that is very, much kind of gross out humor and um and that sort of stuff but even just to kind of go out like just to go about with about running with scissors they were founded in tucson arizona in 96 now operating from all across the world running with scissors is an independent video game studio that develops and publishes outrageous games uh, just for the hell of it. Our goal is to make action-packed games which are fun funny and possibly even politically correct Incorrect? You think you'd want incorrect? Um, our games feature wonderfully excessive amounts of violence. However, we are not in favor of real life violence. I believe it's so. Even kind of that is kind of a. But I mean, this is. I don't know. Again, this is like I don't know if they're trying to be on brand with their game because even postal guy, postal dude. Um, I forgot what the hell they call him exactly. But, uh... Yeah, they usually just call him the dude or something. Okay. Postal dude, whatever. Uh, let me just kind of get also something. Just kind of... So, yeah. Uh, Postal originally was an isometric top-down shooter game uh, developed by Running With uh, Scissors. Uh, they had the sequel, Postal 2, which was more of a first-person uh, uh, first shooter um, they kind of set it in their own kind of fictional world. Yeah, it follows the life of the postal dude who must carry out mundane tasks throughout an in-game week with the player deciding how violently or passively he will react to various situations. Player navigates the game's map to carry out its his errands with a player, uh, player choice having an effect on the setting. Uh... And I mean that's like they like they say they they very much do a lot of the kind of mundane, but then they add in a lot of absurd stuff or like part of the game. I mean there is even like a point where you go to again like they say it's optional, but you go to the game development studio and you can shoot it up or not. Uh, they have a whole thing where you get where a church gets. <laughs> Is basically uh, uh, run run uh, run over by Al Qaeda terrorists, and then they even had Gary Coleman in the game, and they were leaning into a lot of the kind of quote unquote edgy. Who's this uh, company? This is trash. <laughs> <laughs> Running with scissors is the company. The games that they they developed were Postal One, Two, and Four. The funny thing is, is that Postal 3 got taken up by a different company entirely. To, to quote Lost Uncle Plot. Joey from Full House, cut it out. Like, this is... Who wants to play... Who's playing this stuff? See, this is this is the thing, man. This is this is just straight <laughs> evil, man. You're going to make a game like a... a, a, a well, game that's, where, kind, like, that's kind of their intention is to push the boundaries. Why? And, this is what's wrong with kids. This is no, exactly no, 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 because this is the thing, Hitman. This is it's it because a lot around a lot of the outside perspectives of games is that yes, they are nothing but kind of what Postal is, and it's meant to basically kind of get get that reaction uh, of you know outrage and stuff like that. It, it, it's basically like a very open, not even like not even a trolling, but just very much. Kind of, I 
don't know, lack for a better word, just continually kicking the shins of the people that oppose video games as a whole. Because there are people that want nothing more than, yes, to control the industry, like we are seeing from these, as people call them, Puritans and stuff like that. Um, when you actually, you know, it's really funny considering that these are the people that are were once doing what, uh, yeah, running with scissors did before. But now they are, but like we've talked about too, is that these are the people that want to control that content. They don't want anybody else to be in control of the content. They want to be the ones putting it out themselves. But uh, that's kind of the whole point of the, of the pulse of games though, is to be very, um, very over the top and pushing again, like I say, the buttons of, of people that would be otherwise outraged by this. So if you know, it, like back in the eighties with the, like the, the scare towards D and D thinking it's all nothing but Satanist stuff. Uh, even yes, like during the nineties uh, with things like um, when that, when like Columbine happened and yeah, when doom was originally out and stuff like that in Mortal Kombat. There was a lot of the the parent groups and stuff like that that were out on it. So um, it, that's kind of where these games are meant to be going is trying to take the piss out of, out of people like that and also to really rib them in the side and get them, get them all agitated and, and everything like that. If I'm explaining that well, <laughs> it just it just makes no sense because you're just normalizing tragedies that happen with you're basically making a game where you can. No, Here's because the thing, like, they're putting it in its own kind of fictional world and setting. Yes, it's kind of based in, like I yeah, said, in there's, Arizona, but there's in their own fictional town and stuff like that. And it, cause like, there's even a point in the game too where you'll get like you'll run in and get ki- like captured by a bunch of. BDSM hillbilly rednecks and stuff like that, which could be kind of like deliverance style sort of shit. And then you basically get, you can take revenge out on them for doing what they do to you. Uh, So, I mean, they have a bunch of different scenarios that get set up. And remember the the game itself, like that came out in uh, 2003. So even if you're trying to think of like current things that have gone on, no, they were way before that. Essentially, it's like the uh, I offend everyone game. Right. At least that's their defense of it, basically. And if I could find the tweet now, uh, they they say that, I wish I could because I'm, I'm blocked, unfortunately. Um, they say they offend everybody, but Postal Dude is not transphobic. And that was kind of part of the crux of, to a lot of this is that... Uh, then it, because they they got into it with with uh, with commenting that no postal dude is not transphobic, and people were like, guys, are you sure you want to be really leaning into this considering the game shit? shit? Which is kind of funny because uh, considering postal two, they basically make it so you don't have to be violent at all if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything horrible at all, except maybe defend yourself. But you know, pretty much you don't have to do anything horrible. A lot of this stuff is happening just kind of around you. And it's you know supposed to be what makes you go pull store or whatever, right? Much better explained in a shorter time. Um, but then they they later it was it was the stupid thing of it all too was that they also later came out with a tweet saying how we offend everyone like Sheepster just pointed out, and so then people were just starting to laugh at them and be like, oh, so then yes, uh, because. Postal guy hates everybody or wants to kill everyone. Postal dude would be transphobic, right? Yes, he would be because that's what you are trying to say that he would be, he hates everybody. But they wanted to try and say, no, (laughs) he wouldn't be transphobic. So they found themselves in a little bit of a, a, of a conundrum with all that shit. Cause yeah, uh, you know, this was a, a studio that, yeah, was pushing the envelope. Like I said, and uh and I, again i i saw them more as that like the the chick was kind of humorous ish for a moment 
but even I'll say like, I got kind of bored of the game and I stopped playing. I've, I've tried to postal one and two. I have them in my steam library. Uh, postal one was like, they said like it was an isometric style game, but you know, you, you kind of get tired of it. And even postal two is just like, yeah, it's funny for a moment or two. I mean, funny, yeah. funny enough, Postal 1 was actually kind of closer to the murder simulator. It's not really about yes. other stuff happening. It's just about the dude goes crazy and starts, you know, shooting people at random. And it's, just, it's more of like how you can set up the weird kind of murder traps that you are getting uh, civilians into, basically. Uh, Postal 2 is, yeah, that one where it's much more balls at a wall and with a kind of story like they said kind of melted into that game and trying to be comedic yes trying to be comedic because postal one was a little more serious it certainly had some very silly scenarios where you were going in and being postal on people but like overall like the tone seemed a little more serious than postal two so like you say that's where they went tried to go comedic and yeah, like okay, less, less satire. Yeah, less satire. And like it, it had its, it had a, it had some humorous moments for 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 a time. But like, I don't know. Like, I maybe just because my sense of humor was not always quite there. It uh, it just kind of fell flat for me. It's and, also just a very meh game. Yes, <laughs> Matt, like, he, absolutely... like Doom is a better shooter without any mods than Postal is. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So, on top of all of this, with the main account being awfully retarded, um, like I said, I got, I did get at least some screenshots, but this individual. Like I said, the community and QA manager also responded saying, sup guys, I'm Pedro Santos. I'm one of the two people who runs the Running With Scissors Twitter account. The other one being Mike J. I'm straight, but congrats on getting that, that one wrong. And the reason for he saying that, when you think of, you know, if it weren't true, why why get your jimmies all rustled, um, is on the main site and they, and James and Kay were looking at it. Let's see if I can pull it up really quick. Ah, there we go. The team. So the context for this is that on their site, uh, the individual in question does have it. Oh, well, let me zoom in on, on that one. Oh, huh, they've prevented me. Anyways, uh, for community manager here, Pedro Santos, they do have Pedro from Portugal loves the cock, and that's why we love him. So obviously, trying to they're trying to be humorous on this site, but then you know they they were just like, oh, okay, he's he's a gay boy. Um, but this definitely was what kind of kicked off the extra interactions between them. And I mean, all of it was this could have been so easily just you know any of these people, the the community manager could have just walked away because also on top of it he was using the main account to also comment back at them. But again, like I said, I can't see the tweets because I'm blocked. Um, I mean, in the end, it's called just ignore it, you moron. Well, and this is the extra part to this, so. I don't know how I don't know how they necessarily got um and I'm trying to find the tweets in particular because he got he was getting pretty nasty there with commenting about them um Sorry about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the other thing. Because, uh, yeah, they grabbed the uh, the still 
from the site that I just read off to you guys from that from the running with studios running with scissors studios in over on the melee games thing said based on how things are going over uh, running with scissors studios you could have fooled us is this false advertising that's the part about you know he loves a cack um but he says still better advertising than what you're prom- trying to promote on your podcast i guess oh and that wasn't it god dang it that doesn't even make sense what <laughs> <laughs> like he's like he's just trying really hard to be funny or like you know I this doesn't affect me at all or whatever but it's just like now you're just being nonsensical. No, the Jimmys were definitely rustled here, um, which is pretty funny considering you know they're supposed to be the 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 edgy little game company, and even then, like if you say it, if you say it's a joke, then why are you so so, so worried about it? Apparently not when you have uh, sensitive, sensitive little gay Pedros around. No, exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to. Is he? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, because I I loved it because this is this is exactly how you should respond to these people when they start getting like this is to just laugh at them. Because uh, he was responding to Melee K here. Thing, just correcting your misinformation. I'm sorry that I'm not a fan of a podcast ran, ran by two inbred looking folks who can't get their stuff right and gets upset because a video game character isn't transphobic. LOL. But a, he's a character that hates everybody. I'm getting very confused. Serious question Do you think he's straight phobic? If he hates everybody, he hates everybody. You aren't following the, the, the message on your guys' own character, apparently. But I'm just like, bruh. He's, I mean, if it's misinformation, again, why are you also giving a fuck? If it's incorrect, then this, that is incorrect. Move the fuck on. He just says, no, but then he does, it, no answer, expected that. No, just laughing at you is more than enough, dude. Because your jimmies are off, obviously rustled. You're you're getting really. And it goes further. Uh, they they got this from their from their Discord. I'm still popping off. All right, hang on. Isn't it? Oh, there we go. But yeah, even in, in the little Discord here saying Fatso and the inbred, and he took the screenshots from their from their uh podcast, from their live stream. He had some other thing. What was it? Wait, they're gonna talk about being full grown adults when they made a game like Postal 2. <laughs> <laughs> That's like maximum juvenile, you know. Fart humor, you know, piss humor, shit. It's yeah. not like the highest level stuff ever. You're gonna be like, oh, we're the adults here, guys. Yeah, we're at, we're the true adults, not these people that are mo- <laughs> mocking the state of everything. Um, but no, it's like it, it's really funny considering you know the, this person is also trying to promote the whole idea of you know. Their, their tolerance and acceptance. And also went this route. Ah! God dang it. I hate, hate X sometimes. Then grabbed her avatar picture and said, and was replying to somebody because somebody was asking, why are you such a man child on Twitter? And he responded to them saying, let me guess, you're a fan of this fat bitch and the Inbred Cunts podcast. Uh, the, the seething is quite there, buddy. Like, I mean, dude, they said one comment on their stream and it was not even talking about you other than the one moment of going, oh, you know, it says in his co- under his bio thing that he loves cock. 
it's been an interesting little cycle and it's 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 funny again i always kind of liken it to how you know you have like the metal bands that start out really heavy edgy and hard and going going hard and everything and then as they progress as they get older they mellow out they lose that edge and they don't like the same draw like they used to i feel like that's the same thing with these companies that do the edgy games they go into their melodic phase <laughs> right they're going into their melodic phase and everything <laughs> but you know it, it's just kind of a funny thing because like i said too like they they've fallen off of favor for people because they they did their postal three and it got in they let it go into the hands of another company and people were pissed um and even right now like with their postal four it's not exactly doing so hot either in a sense i mean yes like the recent reviews are mixed and there's mostly positive but that was at like maybe the start like oh good they uh they got into it awesome um but you know they're for the most part they're still currently mostly negative a lot of good deal of even they went woke um go play postal 2 better the humor written over this one getting into reddit tier humor um so i mean they they've they've got i think like you like it is they've gone into their melodic phase And we're honestly never really good in the first place, so, you know. I, I'm with you there. I think that they were kind of overhyped to begin with. I was never a big f- super fan. Yeah, it was kind of funny at first when they wrestled the Jimmies and everything of the of the, me- of the gaming media at the time and all that, and they even kind of had a comeback, I think, during the Gamergate era. I was about to say, funny enough, I got that game for free because they were handing it out for free during Gamergate yes. stuff. That's right. And that's when really, they had really? a moment of edge. And yeah. then it was just kind of called, all right, done. I was like, uh, yeah, haha, I can pee on people. Okay. Never beat that game. So, yeah. I I just laugh because yeah. it's just an unfortunate thing. And it's really stupid because now they've gotten nothing but the ire of a lot of fan bases. Like it is, they've blocked me. Uh, they blocked all. They they've blocked a bunch of other people that were commenting in there, um, it, and, and you know it, it doesn't exactly show you guys are the badasses you pretend to be when you go on a blocking yeah. rampage. Because I mean, like, yeah, let, uh, let's see. I even got I had saved the one from uh, Lethal yeah. Lightning who also got blocked by them. Like even like he says. I mean, the funny thing is, it's like, you know, if they don't want, like you said, it's your company account, so maybe they don't want it to be going so hard into this, even though it commented earlier, but it's like, all right, if that's the case, then just have Gay Pedro come out and start insulting them himself or whatever. Why, why like, right. why start blocking all these people? These are your actual audience. You guys don't have a big yeah. audience in the first place, so... It's not like uh, Disney where, you know, like uh, Hitman says, people are just going to buy it up because they consume all this stuff. These guys are tiny. Yeah, there's they are still technically an indie company because of how small they are. But I mean, like he says, remember those postal games? Have a look at them now from edgelords to bitches, all because uh, Melee Games and Melee K called them gay. Again, the postal oh. games. <laughs> I mean, it, it real it's just a, like it is it is the sad state of affairs for 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 these gaming companies and and all um but yeah i don't know if anybody else has any final th- thoughts on that one before i think we get to the main event all i can say is i'm glad i didn't even sail the seas to play uh, nova gertz yeah same here i'm glad i didn't go beyond i saw it and i was like well maybe and then i was just like nah fuck not worth it. 
did I do a good enough job trying to explain the situation, Hitman? Yeah, they also uh, can sit right by Sweet Baby Inc. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. 